What is up, my dog Lawson here. I'm joined by my ombre Jacob. Today we're doing something a little different. Catch, clean, cook. We're looking for a smorgasbord of fish. Redfish, trout, sheep's head, flounder, black drum. The plan is to catch a diverse amount of fish to try to bring home in the cooler. We're not gonna keep a ridiculous amount of one thing, but try to catch a good amount of a lot of things to bring home and cook. All right, right now I'm on the platform pulling. Jacob is up front casting. And uh, once he catches a fish or enough time elapses, we'll be able to switch a roo. And there is a market for it. What the heck? Is that? Oh, Holy mega mango snapper. That might be he might keep. <laughs> Think he's a tenner? Yeah, he's fat, dude. Yeah, he's chunky. That's one thing I noticed about the mango. He's so chunky. Think I swim as much as the ones in the keys. <laughs> I think he's gonna be right at 10. Maybe nine and a half, honestly. Yeah. He's thick, but he looks small. I think he's like nine. You know what? Oh, that's where the marker is. He is 10 and a half, but we'll hold out for a bigger one than that if we're gonna keep a snapper. One keeper down, but we let that snapper go. If we're gonna keep a snapper, I want it to be like a 12, 13 inch snapper. I ain't gonna waste my time playing a 10 and a half inch snapper. We're, we're trying to keep anything that's edible today, really, but we're also gonna be kind of selective in what we choose because if we catch, if we keep a snapper, I'm probably only gonna keep one or two, and I don't want to catch a 10 incher and regret it when we hook a 15 inch mangrove snapper, which will never happen, but. Um, that's a fish. That is a red. bigger redfish. I did not realize that. Turn, brother. Turn. <laughs> that was finally happened. Just sitting there dragging that shrimp across the bottom. I don't know if you'll keep or not. He's gonna be close. He's gonna be very close. Right. Yeah, 18 to 27. He's gonna be close. He's a super stout fish. He's just not very long. Easy, hombre. I know. No, no <laughs> troll motor, no problem. I think he hits it. I think he's gonna be 19 or 20. I think to be he honest, it, it might yeah. be more than that. Um, if you want, yeah, you could throw the. Uh, you can even drop the anchor down and then grab the camera. He's gonna be there for sure. Beautiful, beautiful redfish, the target species we're looking for right there. We went through a lot of mangrove snappers and garbage and we finally connected with a good red. We're gonna throw him on a tape, see if he makes it. We're just throwing a little skimmer jig with shrimp tipped on it. That's a great fish. I'm hoping, I have a feeling he's gonna go like 20, 21, which he just needs to be over 18. Red, that's millimeters. <laughs> Ah, oh, look at that on the nose. Get that across. 23, he is mid-slot fish. That is what we like to see. So, he's going on ice. I legitimately have probably not kept a redfish uh, in nine years or so. This will be the first one in a very long time, so I'm excited to try it. I haven't eaten one in a really long time. So he's gonna go in the cooler, and we're gonna continue trying to catch our uh, saltwater feast here and see if we can get maybe on a sheep's head or a trout or a black drum or a flounder. Beautiful. Cut the camera because I'm about to just like. Get <laughs> <laughs> everything up over here. All right. The redfish has been bled. We first we killed him with the knife, popped his gills out, shook him out in the water, let him bleed out. It's going to help the flesh a lot. Not going to stress him out. There's no point to let him flop around in the cooler. It's just kind of mean, I guess. All right. Next fish. <laughs> Here's the fish. Little, little trout. That is not gonna cut it for our keeper trout, but that's a good sign we're in the right area. Pretty interesting too. I just changed the color of my jig I was throwing in first cast. Cog trout. All right, Jacob and I just pulled up on this super cool looking island. Boat is anchored right there. Key is over there trying to catch a trout or something. And I'm gonna walk around see if I can catch a trout or a flounder. I'm just throwing 
a uh, salt native skelly swim bait made by uh, catch toe i can leave this link below we're gonna see if we can find a trout or flounder and then maybe call it a day i was really hoping to catch a variety of fish but it's just been tough man it's been tough that's so cool dude this island's freaking sweet Goodbye, island. I'm always scared of these things like coming undone while I'm driving. So I just crank it up a lot higher than I need to. <laughs> I shouldn't be scared of that, but I'm not. <laughs> Whew, long hot day. Jacob and I just got off the water. Got a storm pushing in on us, so it's time to head home and cook our redfish. I will see you guys at the house. All right, we have made it back to the house. We are joined by a very fussy sous chef here. We are gonna cook some sweet potato crusted redfish and some zucchini fries. If you've never had sweet potato crusted fish, I think it's one of the best ways to have fish. It's, I mean, essentially it's like having like fancy fried fish. The sweet potato crust, you grate it up. I'll walk you the whole thing, and then zucchini fries. I got some zucchinis in there that I need to use, so we're gonna use it. So, me and young Ham here are gonna get cooking and uh, show you guys how to make some sweet potato crusted redfish and zucchini fries, right? So we said, right? Right, right. Before we hop into cooking, today's video is made possible by Husk Knives. Currently, Husk is running a 50% discount on their authentic Japanese knives. You can test the knife with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Make sure to check the link in the bio and the pinned comment below. So, Husk sent me this knife about two weeks ago, and I have honestly fallen in love with it. I've been using it for all my kitchen prep around the house, and it's now my go-to knife when I'm cooking. It has a beautiful oak handle with an ergonomic grip that makes it just honestly amazing to use. The knife is extremely sharp and perfectly balanced and just fits beautifully in your hand and just rocks perfectly when you're cutting. It's been a breezy in the kitchen, but I'm extremely excited to take the knife with me on some future camping expeditions that I have planned. The knife is made from high quality Japanese stainless steel, the 38 degree blade edge that ensures an extremely sharp edge. Don't forget about the 50% discount and the 30 day money back guarantee that will be in my bio in the pinned comment below. Thank you, Husk, for sponsoring this video, and you guys for watching. All right, let's cook some fish. So, first thing we need to do is fillet and skin our redfish. Make sure you sharpen your knife as much as needed. It'll make your life way easier and help you get every scrap off the fillet. If you aren't that skilled with the fillet knife, just take your time. You want to make sure no meat goes to waste. Once we have clean fillets, just dust them with some salt and we're going to set them aside for the moment. In a large bowl, start grating your sweet potato. You could peel your potato first if you want, but I don't really care. I realize a small grater will take forever, so I busted out a bigger grater. Once our sweet taters are grated, we're going to grab out this beautiful knife and slice our zucchini into fries. I cut each zucchini in the middle and split each end into eights. With our fish and zucchini prepared, it's time for the mix. We're going to crack two to three eggs in a container, then pour some flour and a seasoning mix into the flour and mix it till combined. The mix will be for the zucchini fries and it's a mix of salt, garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, dried parsley. For a little extra flavor, we'll drop some hot sauce of your choosing into the egg mixture. Now. Heat up a skillet with vegetable oil to medium high heat and it's time to make some zucchini fries. With these we will need to do a double dredge otherwise they just won't look quite right. So it's a dip in the egg wash, a dusting of the flour, back of the eggs, and a final coating of flour and into the oil. With cooking the zucchini I'm not too specific on the time but you're looking for a golden crispy brown on each side. With the fries uh, fried it's time for the fish. These fillets are pretty good size, so I split each in half, giving us four portions. 
With a pan of shower oil on medium heat, we're going to lay down a bed of grated sweet potatoes and lay our filet right on top. Then put a top layer of sweet potatoes and pour a little bit of oil over the whole thing. We're looking for the potatoes to turn golden brown and then flip. Probably four to five minutes each side, but just eyeball it to make sure your fish is cooked well. While the fish is rested, we're going to make an aioli really quick to top the fish and dip our zucchini fries in. We're going to quickly mince some garlic, drop it in with a bit of mayo, salt, pepper, and lime juice, and stir till combined. Now, time to plate our fish in zucchini. A nice dollop of garlic citrus aioli, some Thai basil to be all cute, and there you have it, sweet potato crusted redfish with zucchini fries and garlic citrus aioli. All right, here we have it, a sweet potato crusted redfish with zucchini fries. I'll admit, this basically turned into a healthier version of fish and chips, which was not my intention, but we got fried zucchini fries and a sweet potato crusted redfish. It's like the fancy way to have fish and chips, essentially. Um, and it's got a garlic aioli on top. Garlic citrus aioli. Holy flash. Okay. My wife is sitting off camera over there and I gave her her plate first and she took a bite and she's like, wow, that's really good. I am blown away by how good this is. Like, and I'm not doing that to like smack myself on the butt or whatever. Like, this is so good. Pat you on the back, your hands are in there. <laughs> Thanks. So fellas, if you wanna make basically fried fish and french fries for your wife, but make it in a lot fancier, nicer way, sweet potato crust and zucchini fries, we wouldn't do it. The other day I made flounder linguine and that was like one of my favorite fish dishes that I've ever had. This is up there as well. I might like this more than the flounder linguine. I think the redfish just tastes so well, unbelievably good. good. But I think the redfish is tastier. You think the redfish is better than the flounder? Yeah. Tasty. How about this? Do people think you're talking to the one? <laughs> well, they can hear your voice in the camera now when you're talking. Can they? Yeah. <laughs> this is a 10 out of 10. Knock it out of the park. I'll kiss the chef. Thanks. <laughs> if you catch a redfish, I would highly recommend going for the sweet potato crust. I, you know, if you look at redfish, it's always blackened or on the half shell. And I just want to do something a little different, and this was, I think, a grand slam.